community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We're going to go over the three stocks that we've been following here, folks. We don't usually follow stocks, but uh, starting out with uh, Tesla. As you'll notice here, the ABCD pattern that we're looking for here was due to uh, complete around 150 level. Uh, I see the stock hit 156 today. That's very close to the 61% retracement. Uh, things that move uh, from that low that we made down there at 106, that big ABCD measured to 109. The low was at 106, and we've rallied 50% in that stock here over the last three weeks. Now, that's down quite a bit, but remember, that, that stock split three and a half to one, so it's still, you know, rather expensive on a split basis. Now, if we take a look at the next one that we're going to look at, which is Apple, here is another one that is coming against some really strong resistance lines. I don't know why people call me when they know me that I'm doing these shows at these times of the day, but I didn't turn the darn thing off. So what should I do? I think it's not an emergency. The problem is I take care of old people in this neighborhood. They're just going to have to wait. And so there's not, um, I can't do that because their health depends on it. Sorry, boys and girls, bear with me here for just a minute. And, uh, oh, it happens to be a, uh, happens to be a scam so we'll have to get back with that a little bit later sorry folks now i'm going to turn the phone off for an hour and hopefully nobody gets sick i think i have posted the chart for apple in the room let me double check uh, i don't think i did yet let's get it up here you're going to be able to see it yep here we go and you'll be able to see this downtrending line that we have here you can see the abcds that measured here to this uh, 126 level that was pretty much exactly the low and we've rallied up to the uh, end of the 144, 48 level. I don't know the exact price, but as you can see, we have lower tops in here. So it's going to be interesting whether they can pop through these uh, as we look at these uh, each day and looking uh, at particularly these stocks. The next one we're going to look at, of course, is the uh, one for uh, Google, which is, uh, I believe, uh, Alphabet, right? And they've had some bad news. I don't know how it reacted to it uh, with this lawsuit. Probably means nothing, but let's just get it up here and take a look because we did make a really nice uh, 382 retracement in the um, market here. You can see the big A, B, C, D to the downside right in here. And then we have a nice little rally. Uh, then we had bad news, I guess, that they were being sued by the government. Um, and we all know how that stuff works out. Anyway, that's uh, it's completed its objective here. So with some of these stocks are hitting some pretty good objectives, but uh, you know the others are not doing as much. So that's the main thing. Now let's take it just a little bit. Uh, most of you that listen to my uh, voice on the videos every day that I was rather upset yesterday for missing the move of the century. Well, not the move of the century. What am I talking about? It was a good move, but let's get it up here. So to go through it again, because we can all learn from my mistakes, because that's how I learn. And believe me, I've been learning a long time. Okay, now here's where we were yesterday. Now we sold it right up here, folks. And it came down, you notice right at that 786, it dropped a huge amount. And we were talking about it getting to here long before the day. I mean, we said this is going to be major support down into this area right here, and you want to be covering your shorts here. The problem is I didn't say reverse and go long there. That you know, I I, I know some of the folks did, and they thanked me for it. But believe me, I had they did that themselves. I saw that. I wanted to do it, but it happened so quickly. I couldn't react, and then I didn't chase it, and it kept running and running and running and running. However, the old cowboy doesn't give up on the game when it starts to play against him. So this, what I did today is I wanted to update what this pattern was going to look like, 
and I just completed it over the next few days to see what the next outstanding objective would be. Now, if you look at this S&P, here's where we were yesterday, and there's your price objective right here at 40.69, and it's a look at it. You see those two, two little red boxes there, folks? That means you have a double 1.27 expansion. You have the 1.27 expansion of this one, and you have the 1.27 expansion of this one, and that makes this a one, two, three drive to a top pattern. And as you can see, we came down, you know, quite sharply. Now I want you to see something because on the next chart, we're going to update this on a little bit smaller time frame to see how some of these patterns line up so that they fit pretty much with what you're supposed to be looking at. Now here is the pattern on a smaller time frame, just four minutes. But remember, as you get to those levels, you want to be able to see, you know, that you're looking at something that you can understand. And you can see there's your big ABCD pattern measuring right there to 4069. And that was the high and it broke down. Now if you defy human nature, look what happened since that time. See, I was looking to see if it was going to make a 382 here, but unfortunately, well, doesn't mean unfortunately, what the market did was it went all the way up here to the 78% level. It came down again to this level right here and then up again to this level right here. So we had three lower highs. That's the 135 pattern. And then it started to move lower. I haven't checked it since that time, but the last time I checked, it was at uh, 40, I believe it was 4049, and it was trying to, uh, yeah, that was about it. The high of that last run was at 4057. So that's short term trading, but what that does is it verifies what Mandel brought and H.M. Gartley talked about with these patterns, how they repeat over and over again with regularity. It is like a precision of a Swiss watch. And uh, that's, does it do it all the time? You know, absolutely not. And one of the things when we get back from break, I want to show you some precision in natural gas and how silly it was. No, it wasn't silly to try to buy the bottom. That, that was not a problem. I, I had that, I forgot all about but that. What, I, what upset me was that I missed that low in the S&P so much. And anyway, that's neither here nor there. Okay, we'll move on to the next one here pretty soon. And I want to talk a little tiny bit about one of the stocks. Uh, we're going to go give everybody a free trip to Taiwan. And I want to bring up uh, Taiwan Semiconductor here because this is a real interesting chart. And when we get back from the next break, I want to be talking about the, uh, the market in Hong Kong and also in China. But you can see here this big spike high that we made here. Uh, perfect ABCD coming in almost exactly at the 50% level. And it was a perfect ABCD. And look at this huge... Uh, Reversal day folks. That's a that's a big reversal that tells you this is major up in here So if you're bullish this stock what you want to do is to watch for the pullbacks now We're already through in one day. We're already through the 382 of the previous low that in itself is not a good sign So what you'd like to see is another pattern formed down into this area here and what that would do it would be giving you a one three five pattern see that's a one three five pattern on the upside a one three foot pattern on the downside is when you have lower highs like you have here. One, three, five. That's that's what that is. So that's how you determine what the trend is. If you have higher bottoms, okay, it's an uptrend. If you have lower tops, it's a downtrend. You have to determine what time frame you're on, but that's what you want to be doing as you're looking at this. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors 
Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. now toll free at 1-877-927-6648 internationally at 727-873-7618 Okay, folks, I've gone and posted a chart of the E-mini S&P. Uh, it's a small chart, of course, uh, 15. I believe it's a 50, and it's a five-minute chart. And as you can see here, we had a really nice retracement at the bottom here today. There was your perfect A, B, C, D. After the top came in, it stopped exactly at the 3A2, and it rallied right up to this level right here. Now, that means you've had lower highs in here, so the potential that the market should go a little bit lower. Any move above the uh, 40, 56 level will tell us we're probably going to continue to go higher. But this was a perfect ABCD, and Gartley said, buy ABCD moves in an uptrend, and by golly, that was certainly one. It dropped uh, just about 40 handles, and boom, back 30 handles. So it goes pretty fast when it happens. But follow those 3A2 folks. They'll lead you to the promised land, that yellow brick road. That's what you want to be paying very, very close attention to as these markets unfold each day. Now, I wanted to cover a few other things. I want to get to the natural gas because something really big has happened in natural gas. I, as you know, I, as markets are making new lows for the year and stuff, I follow open interest. And I'm going to bring up the uh, natural gas. By the way, Henry Hub was evidently a uh, war hero. Uh, he won some silver stars and stuff. And that's why, I don't know why they named it after him, but... Uh, that's supposedly the reasoning uh, behind it. There also happens to be a bank robber by the name of Henry Hub, Henry Hub, but I don't know if he's the same dude or not. Probably not. Maybe one of the same. But let's take a look here now at this open interest because it is really a, a really a surprising thing. I haven't been following it every day, but for the last six or seven days I have. And usually the open interest will increase by somewhere between one and 3,000 contracts yesterday. Look at this, folks. Look at the increase that we had yesterday, 16,000 contracts. That's 1.5% of the whole thing. And now I'm asking myself, why would anybody be selling it right down here in the hole? Do they think it's going to go to zero? Well, we hit it. We hit 268 and uh, 2.68 today, and we've already rallied almost 20 handles since that time. So whatever that bottom was, it might have been – uh, a little bit of a fake out because they have a, uh, you know, a nice little uh, short covering rally going right now. Hasn't gone very far, 
But that's uh, something that I'm paying attention to because when we get the next bottom, I'll look for a good place where we have a first retracement, and then I want to take a look at it. Now, here is what natural gas has been doing, folks, over the last uh, month, since the beginning of the month. I want to bring it to your attention because it tells you the definition of a trend. And believe me, folks, we were – we didn't begin to buy it until it was down in here. We, we bought it yesterday. We were stopped out last night right away. We took a 10-handle loss on that. But look at this lower tops in here. You can see the harmonics of these lower tops. I mean, we were, we were saying that this was going to be heading down in these areas, but my goodness, when it got here, it just cascaded through those levels and went about oh, 20 handles below where we thought it was going to go. And now it's bouncing back a little bit. But you can see the harmony in natural gas. Uh, they've raised the margin on it, uh, mainly because you're coming into uh, delivery, that it'll get back to normal uh, as of uh, February going off the board tomorrow. Now, another part of this that I wanted to show you was what happened today. And I wanted to bring that up to show you because this was the first 382 retracement that we had this morning in the natural gas after the low has been made. You'll see the lower tops all the way through here. The market was, you know, heading down. And there were the, this is where we were stopped out right here. And the market kept going down. And then the first rally up, we came right up to the 382. Okay, then we came down and we made a slightly lower low right here. And then we took out all of these highs up in here. Just boom, right away, we just took off. So this is telling you that something big is happening in natural gas. So uh, I want to check the volume tonight. I'll be checking the open interest again because um, – I, you know, I was a little upset with myself, not because of the natural gas. I was upset that I, FOMO, fear of missing out. As we said, Mark Douglas has talked about that many times, and that's what happened yesterday, the fact that I missed that. I, I had a, you know, had a good day. You know, we had a good day in gold. We had a good day in the other stuff, and son of a gun, by golly, <laughs> that's the way it goes, you know. Uh, but I missed part of it, and that really uh, – that got me off my game, and that's neither here nor there, so not to worry about it. Okay, now let's take a look here at the gold market because we had the same situation happening in gold today. Now, I'm going to bring these up to you because I believe in these Fibonacci numbers uh, without even any qualifications anymore because I see them happening all the time. Here's the action in the gold market after we hit uh, – 1950 we came down we rallied up right before the opening right to the 61 percent retracement then we came down and then we rallied up to the 382 retracement well that was lined up pretty good well right out of the floor traders handbook it tells you to watch the key times of the day and so if you watch the key times of the day i put these up so you'll be able to see it just right out of the uh, ai stuff that we use and you'll be able to see there was the high that came in. You'll see right here, there was a retracement coming in right at the 382, and they sold it there, got down to 26. Your stop goes to break even at that point, so you don't have to worry about anything, and uh, that's why we you know, keep our stops as close as possible when we're dealing these things, because when we do, and when we do, that tells us, that gives us a really good idea of what we're dealing with when we're playing these uh shorter term 15 and uh, minute patterns or so but 15 minute patterns are great because they give you you know a really good spot for uh, entry and exit but the other thing is is it lets you to control your risk the only negative to it is if you're not in front of the machine you can't do that so what you've got to do is if you're doing the daily charts you know you've got to get down to where you think the pedal reaches the metal the end of the abcd pattern perfect example were those three stocks we had a perfect bottom in Amazon at 81. The low was 81 and 3 eighths. We had Apple at 126. The low was 124. We had, uh, what was it, uh, Tesla was at 109. It went to 106, and it's, it's rallied 50%. A lot more than, you know, Apple's barely gone 10%, and uh, Google has barely gone 8%. And uh, so those are some of the things that you got to remember. You might you can't get them all. You don't know which ones are going to be the best. But if you play the game and do the pro patterns like you're supposed to be doing them, <clears throat> you're going to be able to, um, you know, you're going to beat this game. There's no question about it. Now, the second half of this show is going to be uh, d designated to the Far East, folks. We're going to be looking in Hong Kong and China. And I want to give you some stories of my teachings over there. 
from 1996 to 2006, those 10 years. I went to China 30 times. <coughs> every every four months I was there teaching, and I, gosh, I enjoyed it, made so many nice friends, and I'll share some of those uh, memories uh, with that you uh, with you uh, when we come back, you know, from the break, which will be coming up next. 877-927-6648 if you have any questions. Remember, I'm not going to be here tomorrow because I'm having a tooth extracted. It's not the end of the world, but the doctor said, don't do any talking, just take it easy and drink liquid. So I've never had a tooth extracted before, so <laughs> it's, uh, I'm not worried about it because I, the doctor happens to be a good friend of mine, and, and he said he's done 8,000 of them. So I think 8,000 is a pretty good uh, pretty good memory here. Hey, let's take a break here, 877-927-6648. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I posted the chart. It's a daily chart of the FXI, which is the ETF for the Chinese market. And we'll just go from the far left. You can see... The ABCD patterns that are here, there's your double bottom. You come up down here. Now, you notice here you have lower tops in here, but what happens is you complete this ABCD right here that leads to the all-time high. There's your A leg, B leg, C leg, D leg, and you can see the little one in between, A, B, C, D. I didn't even put it in. I didn't want it to be too busy, but that's a three drive to a top pattern. Drive one, drive two, drive three. The symmetry and all of those ABCD patterns is perfect right up in here, just like we were in our stock market in January. And when I show you the weekly chart on this, you're going to see this a lot clearer. 
But as you notice here, the market broke all the way down, and here we are almost right at the 382 retracement here right now in the Chinese market. But what we need to do is we need to take a look at it on the weekly chart because when we see it on the weekly chart, it's going to be as clear as a bell. So we get up here, and you'll be able to see all of these patterns, and they'll line up to you. And there you'll see it right now. There's the weekly. There's that big high. You can see the three drive to a dot bottom pattern right here. You can see this larger ABCD, how it comes in right at a Fibonacci number. It's amazing, folks. I don't know why people don't understand make a big deal about this stuff trouble is it doesn't work all the time does it son of a gun i wish it did but it doesn't so that's what we're looking at uh, in the chinese market now the next one we want to take a look at is the hong kong market what we're going to do is we're going to look at it first on a daily chart because i made a prediction here that i thought that we got to this 382 retracement and you'll see what happened here and that's one of the reasons we exploded, too, is because look at the 382 we had right here. We stayed down here for two days, and then we just exploded. And we just into, we're just in, into Chinese New Year now, the year of the sheep, and we're almost at the 50% retracement here uh, in the uh, Hang Seng. So we need to pay attention to that. What we also have to do is we have to look at the weekly chart because – uh, every time I've been to China, I was always invited to be in, uh, interviewed by Bloomberg and also by the Wall Street Journal Asian division. And I'd always talk about these markets. And these are the charts that I used to use. Uh, the, the time is different, but the, the patterns are certainly the same. And uh, we'll take a look at it here. Here's the weekly chart of the uh, Hang Seng Index. And you can see the major bottom that we had right down here. It measured, folks, to just under 15,000 or 14,800. The low was 14,700, I believe. It went 200 points below it, which isn't very much on a, a number that big. And you can see here, we've already exploded way above the 382 retracement. But this is, this is nothing more than this is a bear market, folks. What we're having now is a reality. The $75,000 question, is this big ABCD the start of a really big bull market? And, folks, you got to respect that strength. I mean, look at that thing. That thing's been up almost every day for a month coming off of that bottom. And uh, our friends over there were able to take good advantage of that and some of those stocks. And uh, so, anyway, that's what we're paying attention to as we look at these. Now, I want to talk a little bit about my uh, travels in China. In 1996, the Chicago Mercantile Exchange signed an agreement with the Chinese government to uh, send a uh, uh, one of the people from the exchange over to do teaching on how uh, uh, capitalistic markets work, commodity markets and stock markets, how they, you know, got bonds and, you know, uh, raised money, how trading, uh, how it happened, where the money went when it was being traded and stuff like that. And so uh, the gentleman that was supposed to uh, do that got very, very ill. And at the last moment, uh, they asked me if I would do it. And I said, sure, I hadn't been to China before. I'd been to Hong Kong quite a few times. But uh, well, I, I'd been to China, but not for more than a day or two in Shanghai or Guangzhou. But I, my first trip, I was going to three cities. I went to uh, Beijing, was my first stop. And then I went to Hangzhou, which was about a buck, uh, about three-hour drive and then, uh, below beyond Hong Kong. And then I went to Shanghai. And then I was fortunate enough in, in 2014 to uh, be the, one of the lead speakers at the opening of the Shanghai Stock Exchange, a 96-story building. And uh, it was really spectacular, and I got to give a little speech uh, there at that time. And that was really my last speech in Hong Kong. I haven't been, I mean, in China, and I haven't been back since. I've been to Hong Kong, of course, quite a few times, but uh, not not with uh, not with uh, China again. Anyway, I have to tell you my my some of my favorite stories. The first time was my very first first speech, and it was going to be at one o'clock, so I was very nervous. Uh, I didn't I don't like the Chinese at Western breakfast because they don't cook the bacon enough, and it, it I was hungry, so I stopped by McDonald's and I got my order French fries and a Coke, and I was sitting there in the front there in the little veranda there and uh they had a special for custard uh, little you know ice cream custards and these little street kids there were about five or six of them there looking in the windows you know at this custards and so i walked into the uh 
manager and I said, would you give these kids some ice cream? And he said, okay. And so gave some ice cream and there was a lady there, a uh, Chinese lady reading the Wall Street Journal. So I knew she spoke English and she put the paper down and she said, you probably shouldn't do that. And I said, why? She said, there's going to be a lot of kids here pretty soon. And not more than two or three minutes later, there were about 40 or 50 of them and there were more coming. And so I said, look, I'm going to give these kids ice cream. So I went in there and I told the manager, I said, I want every kid that comes here to get ice cream. I said, uh, you know, they didn't take credit cards. So I had the money and I said, look, when this runs out, let me know and I'll get you some more. So I gave him a hundred dollar bill, which <laughs> these things didn't cost very much. Anyway, he went through that pretty fast. There's about over a hundred kids out there now. And some of them are going back for their second ones, which was okay. And then the lady said to me, she puts the paper down. And says, I'll never forget this. She looks at me in the eye and she says, young man, now try to leave. And I said, uh-oh. And so I, I got up and I started to walk. And it was like, you wouldn't believe they all started following me. And the faster I walked, the faster they came. So I had to run to catch a taxi and get out of there because there were so many of them. And I never did. I never did forget that. So I go into my lecture that day, and uh, uh, I had I, I was a little nervous, you know, because I had I, I it, Beijing University is it, they have they speak English. I was in an architectural business class, a master's degree level, and so I started my talk. And before I was getting ready to talk, they had a proctor there with the languages and stuff. And she said, if you have any trouble, let me know. So I tried to warm up the crowd a little bit. I was dressed my usual way. I had Levi's on and a nice sports shirt and a, and a blazer, you know, just taking it easy. I had my cowboy boots on. And uh, so I was uh, getting ready to go. I was having fun talking to the kids and stuff. And there was a young girl in the first row. She was dressed in black. And in the, the back, the, the blackboard behind it had erasers there from a previous teacher and it was there covered with chalk. So I picked up the eraser and I pointed to that little girl and I said, look, I said, if you fall asleep while I'm talking, I'm gonna toss this thing onto your black dress and you're gonna have chalk all over it and everybody will know you fell asleep. And I thought that was really funny and it was dead silence. I mean, there wasn't even breathing. And I looked to the lady and I said, uh oh, I did something wrong. And I said, what did I do wrong? She says, if she falls asleep in this class, she gets kicked out of school. And you talk about wanting to stay awake in these things, folks, hello, and you wonder why these kids are so motivated to, to do uh, what they do. So I did that, and then I did a couple others over the years. Then the second time I went there was a year later. I went to Hangzhou, which is the, the uh, capital of uh, the silk capital of China. And when we get back, uh, it's a fun story. You'll, you'll like this, too. I hope you like it. These are my memories, and I... I like it, so I hope you like it. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, and I was continuing my stories about going to China. This was 2004. There's a lot of stories, you know, and this is ones that were my most memorable ones. But in 2004, I was speaking at in Hangzhou, which is one of the most beautiful cities in China. It's the silk capital of China, and that's the number one school for uh, scientists and stuff. It's basically the MIT of China. They have 116,000 students. That was 2004. I was there, that was my third or fourth time I'd been there. And uh, this time when I was getting ready to give my speech, I was asked to meet with the president of the university, which it's really a, a big honor for a foreigner to do this. So I didn't know what he wanted to see with me. So. I was getting ready to give my regular lecture, and he comes in, and uh, he looks at me, and he smiles, and he said, I went to school at the University of Arizona, go Wildcats, and I, st I started to laugh, and I had a um, bolo tie, you know, the cowboy bolo tie, and it was a silver dollar, beautiful Morgan dollar, just really beautiful shape, and he saw that, and he said, oh, my God, he says, where did you get this, and I said, believe it or not, I said, I brought this for you, and so I took it off my neck. And gave it to him because he smiled. And he says, yeah, I'm sure you did. And I said, no, he said, I want you to have it as a gift. And he he went it to his secretary and he whispered something to her. And she came back in and she brought in a little a little wooden box. And he opened. I opened the little wooden box and there was a, a gold monkey about two inches tall, solid gold. And it was the year of the monkey, 2004. And he said, I want you to have this. Well, it was two ounces of pure gold. I gave it to my grandson, who was three years old at the time, and he has it in his safety deposit box somewhere. But So anyway, it was uh, fun. We became friends. He said he lived here for two years, getting his Ph.D. Uh, then he went to Harvard and did some work and stuff. Really, really nice man. And he and his wife came to visit me in 2005. And uh, I have lost contact with them, but they're very nice people. So those were just some of them. I can't go to go through all of the things that I went through in China because it did take too much time. Those were the three other most memorable. The other one, oh, there's one. My very first time was in 96. It's the year that Reagan died. Uh, I believe that's right. Yeah, 96 or 97. I hope that's right. Anyway, uh, I hope that's right. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I was watching the news. I saw that he passed away, and I saw that the Chinese embassies in in Beijing they're absolutely incredible. All these you know French embassy, you know Vietnamese, uh, English, UK. I mean, all France. All of them are there. And along this usual colonnade of beautiful trees and stuff. It's really spectacular. And uh, what happened was they asked uh, all of the com countries to put their flags at half mast because, you know, Reagan was a big supporter of China. And so uh, what happened was everybody did it with the exception of France. And so you know what the Chinese government did? They turned off the water and electricity until 
France lowered this flag at half mast. It took them three days to do it, but they but they finally did it. I hope I'm right on that. Uh, two, I, I'm almost sure it's either 96 or 97. Ah, maybe I could have been wrong with the years, but we'll have to wait and see. By the way, we're getting ready to uh, challenge the high here in the S&P here above 4060. So once we went above that 4056, that told us that that top is not in yet. So we're still still moving higher. So all you do is just add your figures to A, B, C, D, and you find out where you're going. So those were just some of the things that I wanted to cover as we went through these uh, markets uh, here this morning. Uh, by the, by, hold on one second here. I had one other chart that I needed to uh, bring to your attention because we're going to have a pretty significant top happening here in gold here pretty soon, folks. Uh, let's get this up here so that we'll be able to see it here because we're really getting close now. What we need to remember now is we are getting ready to switch over today. Well, actually, Monday. I'm going to do it on over the weekend. We'll be switching over to the um, April contract. So this is still the February contract. This is the continuation. So that's why you get these, you know, changes. But you got a big A, B, C, D here. There was your, remember this one, folks? This was 1618. Believe it or not, that's what the low was, 1618. We had a buy there at 1620. Your rocket scientist here uh, got out of it here with about a $60 win and left. Uh, well, we, we were long a couple other times in here. They made a little bit of a short side, too. But, you know, but the, the easy trade was to buy it and hang on and, you know, sometimes we did it in bonds, we did it in stocks, but we didn't do it in gold. So anyway, uh, and we had a nice run in crude oil last year, too. But there'll be others. But anyway, this is what we're looking at. We got a whole bunch of numbers. You see they're marked there in red. You want to watch it very, very closely here. Um, and that's going to be one heck of a good trade because, uh, uh, and, you know, I'm hoping, and this, hey, it's a terrible uh, word for trading, but what I'd like to see, and I think this is what's going to happen, is after you get this, you're going to get an A, B, C, D here, and I think that's going to be the mother of all buys. In other words, when you get this A, B, C, D coming off of this, you went up $300, so you could drop at least $100, would get you down to the 3820 bucks, would get you down to the 382 and if you get that with a 382 Oh, boy, that's Mother God and country, folks. That's when you start ringing the bell and say, okay, let's get in the ring and take our chances because that's the one that you want to really get ready for because you've got a really long term. Remember, the low here was back in December of 2016 at 1,030. That's when we were really bullish. And we ran that puppy for a long time. And then we're going to get ready to do this second one, too, when we get done from this level right up in here so we got two things to watch here one is this number coming in around 1075 now this is uh february which will be spot gold but april is selling for a premium of about i think it's about 10 bucks i'm not even sure uh that's a little more than that 16 dollars. so we'll pay attention to that and see see what happens with it as we uh move on uh, to the next part of this uh speech that we're giving here today or little talk i hope that helps and also remember uh, on the silver folks we've got a chance here to reach that high level in fact i think we're almost there today uh let's just get it up here so you can be able to see this one and uh you have to double check this yourself because i haven't updated it yet today i know we're trading above 24 um, substantially so we should be getting pretty close to that level uh in the march silver uh, it's trading at high it was 24.41 today, and we got as high as 24.04. So those are just a couple of the ones that we're, you know, watching here today. It looks like we have a, a lucky caller coming in now. Let's just double check. We'll have to wait until we get the break from Jim in Denver. Uh, Jim, what can I help you with? Are you there, Jim? I am. Yeah. What can I help you with, my friend? Oh, Larry. Uh, first of all, thanks for putting on your show and being so entertaining. Well, I enjoy it. So what can I do for you, buddy? Well, you know, I was thinking about subscribing to your 24-7. Mm -hmm. But, um, and I have a brokerage account, and I trade, you know, stocks and bonds and options and that. But So what else, I guess, do I need, uh, if anything, in order to take advantage of your service? That's really all you really need to do if you, uh, you know, do, do you do the patterns yourself and stuff? Do you do, you do the work yourself? Uh, 
you know, I, I'm starting to. Let's put it that way. Okay. Well, that, what I do when you when you get the service, you're going to get the videos every day. You know, and I'll show you the patterns that I'm looking at, and you're going to get the good, the bad, the ugly. We've been very, very successful with it. We don't have long strings of losses. We don't take huge losses. That's the one thing that I preach on this show quite a bit. But we've had, you know, very successful moves in some of these things. Some of them were spectacular. Others not so much. But there's never been any really big losses. And uh, you know, where you stay in it day after day after day, and it eats your guts out and tears you up. No, those those don't happen here. You're going to know these okay. patterns are so accurate they work right away. That's about it. Hey, okay. you know what, Jim? It comes with a money right, back guarantee, well, so it's a no-brainer. Okay, we'll try it. God bless you, my friend. Take it easy. It's a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, and I have to tell you the final story of uh, my uh, trips to China 2006. I had just finished it. It was October. I'd spent uh, three days in Hong Kong visiting friends and students, and I was uh, flying from Hong Kong to Narita and then in Narita on to Los Angeles. And there was a young lady in front of me in the in the plane, and uh, it was a long flight. And when we were getting ready to leave, she was having trouble, you know, reaching her luggage. You know, oh dear sir, please help me. I'm a little poor Chinese girl trying to reach my luggage. So I fell for it, hook, line, and sinker. Anyway, it was Sarah, and I could see that she was uh, distraught, and I found out that her mother was passing away within a few days in Toronto. And so I asked her to come into the lounge and visit me, and so we sat and talked. And, uh, she, and those of you that met her know she's quite attractive and very, very funny. And 
uh, she told me that she worked for AIA, and so she asked me to look at the AIA stock, and I did. It was trading at 76 and change. It was a perfect three drive to a top pattern. And I got very excited, and I said, you have to sell this stock. I said, you just have to. I said, this is a major top. You can buy it back. See, but all my friends think it's going higher. I said, listen, I'm a professional. Sell it. If it goes to 77, buy it back. I said, but it's going to go down. So she sold it that day, and uh, its stock went to 38 cents, folks. But by the time she got to Toronto, which was about 10 hours later, she had so many emails from me. Her sister said, you are being stalked. And so Sarah called me because she had my phone number. She said, are you stalking me? And I said, absolutely. And I said, I'm not going to give up. And I was scheduled to speak in Hong Kong or in Toronto on November the 5th. Unfortunately, that was a day her mother passed away. So I didn't get to meet her until February during the uh, Chinese New Year. She came to the money show and heard me speak in uh, New York. And we've been together uh, ever since. That's been 17 years ago, believe it or not. No, no, not 17, only 13. 17, 17, oh my gosh, I forgot. 877-927-6648. 